What's going on, the friends? My name is Amtrad Dudes, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Uh, last time, we went around the Kanto region, and uh, well, we we ran around both Kanto and Johto to uh, rock climb a bunch of things because we did get the eight gem for rock climb, and so we went to go and check out to see what items we could get just from rock climbing. And then there was also some other interesting stuff that happened in that episode as well. And now in this part, we're going to be doing something that I never showed off in my original LP of Heart Gold and Silver. Uh, and that is the Gym Leader rematches. So, um, at certain points, when you're playing through the game, uh, at certain points, uh, while you're walking around the game, you will, like, see Gym Leaders just randomly there. And then if you talk to them, they'll ask you if you want to... Uh, register their uh, Pokegear numbers so that at a certain time and day you can um, rematch them in the fighting dojo and they will always rematch you in the fighting dojo and not in their gyms. Uh, so in this case uh, we're fighting Faulkner first and Faulkner can only be battled uh, every Saturday any Saturday morning so, um, and, uh, when you battle the gym leaders, they are nowhere near the same as the last time that we fought them the first time. Uh, like, for an example, what you just saw there is he did start with a Star Raptor, uh, and then now his next Pokemon is a Honchkrow. He's, like, the gym leaders, all the gym leaders, um, are going to have at least like one or two maybe even three uh pokemon that are uh gen 4 or gen 3 exclusive um so it's um all the gym leaders have quite an upgrade from the last time we fought them and um i do want to make as much time as i can in the video to show off as many gym leader rematches i can so without dragging the video too long, I have decided to speed the gym leader fights up. Um, so um, I I won't go too spe specific the, into, into specific detail and in, into the boss fights like I have with the with with the gym with all the other boss fights that I have been doing. Uh, just because it just it would just be kind of boring if I just only talk about. Uh, the gym leader, the, the uh, gym leader fights. Um, <laughs> so uh, that's Falcon defeated right there. And um, yeah, you can fight, you can rematch the gym leaders basically as many times as you want. Uh, which is a, which is the a, the other cool thing. So this is a, a an, another pretty cool way to uh, grind XP. However, the catch is that there can only be fought once uh, at a time and only at their specific day and time. Um, so the next opponent that I'm going after now is Whitney. And Whitney can also be fought every Saturday, uh, but this is on Saturday afternoon. Uh, so um, I'm going to come off clean here. And that is that I did not wait Every like I did not like wait like a whole an entire week worth worth like entire weeks worth of gym leader episodes. I did uh, record all the gym leader fights one by one, but I did not do this all in an entire week. Um, so I'm gonna come up clean and say that I, that there was some cheating involved, and by cheating, I did change the DS settings to make it so that I can actually fight these gym leaders. Uh, without having to do too much waiting around, um, as the game does not, the game goes by whatever time it is on your DS, on your DS settings. Um, so, um, if you, I am showing off the Poke Gear every time I'm calling up the gym leaders, so you can basically see uh, what time and day I am use, I am on the Poke Gear, uh, just so you can get an idea as to like approximately what time you should be playing the game on if you want to rematch certain gym leaders. Um, and 
I am not, and, and, I, and you may notice that I am not showing up the Doom Leaders all in order. And that's simply because um, I wanted to make it convenient to the day, like consistent to the day. So what I'm doing right now is I'm basically just fighting, like Faulkner was fought on Saturday. Whitney's also fought on Saturday. And then there's another gym leader later on that can be fought on Saturday. Uh, so I, so, uh, I mean, I, in a way I kind of did record the gym leaders in order. Um, I recorded the gym leaders in an order of the way where, like, I didn't want to change a day too much. Like, I don't want to scatter the days all over the place, because that would, that would be very, it'd be, it'd be a lot of changing. So I just wanted to save myself from changing days constantly. So, like, you know, I want to fight Faulkner first, and I didn't want to keep changing to, like, Thursday, then suddenly Wednesday, and then... Saturday and then Friday, it would just it would just be all over the place. Um, so I just wanted to make sure that like you know I didn't have to change a date too much. So I'm getting all the Saturday fights out, out of the way, and then later on I'm gonna jump to Thursday because after all the Saturday fights or Faulkner or I defeated Faulkner first, I'm going to be going through. Uh, I'm gonna be changing the time changing the time to Thursday because that's when Bugsy is available to fight. Um, so, uh, Faulkner is fought every sat- it, it can be fought every Saturday morning, it can be fought every Saturday afternoon, and now we're going to Brock, the first Kanto Gym Leader rematch. Uh, and Brock can be fought every, uh, what is it? Every, every Saturday night. How, how did, why, why did I stumble upon, upon that? Like, that, that should, that should have been really easy, but... I guess it wasn't easy enough for me. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, the gym leaders, they're not all going to be the same level as each other. I mean, they'll roughly be around the same level, but some gym leaders do, like, present a challenge of some sort. And it's pretty insane when we get to, uh, later on, when we get to some of the gym leader fights. And you'll, and, and you'll see what they are. Uh, when we actually get to them. Okay, next up is Relicant, and Relicant has uh, the Rockhead ability. It has a Lumberry, so if you give so if you give it a status ailment, it will heal the status ailment of the Lumberry. And that is all I got. Uh, that is all I got to say. Um, okay, so now I need to figure out something to say for the rest of the, for pretty much the rest of this video. It is actually pretty long. This is a pretty long video. Um, although, obviously, of course, this is going to be split up into multiple parts because this is... Uh, having this, like, entire hour... Um, hours worth of gym leader rematches and all that stuff, that it'd be kind of tedious. So, um, this will be split into... this will be split into different parts. Um, and, um, uh, god, I, I'm, I'm running, I'm running out of things to talk about, and that's not good, uh, but there is, but I guess the, I guess one thing I can talk about is that I'm really enjoying how, like, as I'm recording this right now, I'm really enjoying, I'm, like, so far enjoying the new Pokemon game, Sword and Shield. As um, like I, I I have intentions on LP on LPing in the future, so I'm not gonna really give my full full opinion. I haven't finished the game yet as as I'm recording this video, uh, but I will say for sure that I'm really enjoying like everything that I'm seeing in Sword and Shield. Um, Pokemon Sword to be more exact, because that is the game that I have, and um, like it's definitely. A, much different than how the other games in its main series play out. Um, which is, you know, a nice change. Um, as um, they added, like, the new, like, Dynamax, form, uh, Dynamax forms, where, like, all the Pokemon are, like, gigantic. Um, which, is, which is interesting, because it's, like, now, like with the gigantic Pokemon, they're all gonna be very, 
huge. And it, it's kind of scary. Like, when you're up against, like, really huge Pokemon. Sometimes you'll have to, like... Uh, I guess find players who are nearby to like help you to help to get help to defeat those Pokemon because I guess some of the Pokemon are too strong for you to, to defeat on your own. Um, and that's pretty much all of the. Uh, that's pretty much what what I like what I what I know so far. And again, I haven't played very much. And up until the point that I, that I got up until like the game came out. I've been, like, trying very hard to, like, avoid, like, any, like, gameplay footage or, like, half of the trailers that the game has, re that the game has revealed. Um, and that's because I want to make sure that I have, like, I have, like, have my full experience on my own without having too many, ha without having, like, too much spoilers. And, man, this Vesequin is really proving to be really, really annoying. She's, uh, the best McQuinn is going for a bunch of defend orders and a bunch of... Uh, well, yeah, a bunch of defend orders, which um, raises her defensive special defense. It's super annoying because I'm doing significantly less damage and I, I'm trying my very best to uh, attack it and it keeps using protect. Like, why in the world would you keep spam protect? You know you're going to, like... It's not gonna really do you much good, and I'm getting destroyed. Look at this, man! Uh, Bugsy just used his full restore on on the Vespa Quinn, and like now, now I'm doing, now I'm gonna be like doing a lot less damage unless I go ahead and switch out to Will here and then just finish it off just like that. Like what the heck, man? That's insane! Absolutely insane! R ridiculous! Absolutely ridiculous! But that is the one of the annoying Pokemon out of the way. And uh, next up is Shed Ninja. Uh, Shed Ninja has a very interesting ability, and that is that um, it has Wonder Guard. What that means is you cannot attack it with any move except for the move that it's super effective against. And so it's a Bug Ghost type, which means you can only attack it with a Fire move, a Flying type move, a Dark type move. Or a ghost type move, and there's something else that I have that I haven't listed there. But basically, just figure out what uh, Shed Ninja is weak to, and then it just goes down instantaneously. And by instantaneously, I do mean instantaneously. It has one HP. Not that's not a joke at all. Like, how do you use this Pokemon at all? Um, and also. Um, I've been told that Sheninjas are really good for, like, solo running with at all. Um, so it's like if you, like, hack in a Sheninja, like, early on in the game and just use it for the entire game, then, uh, like, uh, Sheninja will, like, you can just, like, use, you can just use Sheninja throughout the entire game because you can't get hurt by anything except for the the poke, except for the types that you're weak against, uh, which make, which yeah does make make really interesting soul soul run. Uh, okay, so we fought Bugsy. We finished off Bugsy. Bugsy can only be fought in Thursday afternoon, I believe. And the other interesting interesting thing about that is that Thursday is the only day where there where there's only, there's only one gym leader rematch available to you. Um, yeah, it's Thursday afternoon, okay. Um, and... So, if you have... Uh, if you don't have a lot of time in your hands, and you want to f at least fight one of the gym leaders, then Thursday afternoon is a pretty good time to get a- to rematch- the, to rematch Bugsy, as Bugsy's the only one listed on Thursday- on- on a Thursday. Um, okay, and next up is Blaine. Uh, Blaine can only be fought on Tuesday afternoon, so, um, Blaine shouldn't be terribly difficult. He has fire Pokemon, he can use water Pokemon, although, you may notice I'm not really using, I'm not just, like, sweeping all the, all the teams for the gym leaders. 
And that's because I want I wanted to make sure that all my team members have like equal level. So I'm just like I it's like I want I really want some of my team members to have some experience as like some of my team members are a bit under level but where like as others. I feel like I've been overusing them, so I think I need to use other Pokemon in order to super in order to use super effective moves uh, on other uh on, on like some Pokemon over others and it's just something that I just wanted to do and also I think it, it would make the gym leader rematches a little bit more interesting if I if you actually saw me have some type of trouble with, with, with them also every once in a while mom keeps calling and uh, telling me that she has something in the in, uh, waiting for us in the, in the department store and or Pokemon Mart it's pretty crazy all right, the next one that we're about to go for next, I said next too many times, but we're about to fight Morty next. Um, he's not with his buddy, Rick. Ta! No, that's, that's, that's dumb. Uh, but, but now we're gonna fight Morty. Um, and for some reason, uh, this is, uh, and no, you're not imagining things. Yes, some of the video footages did get off sync for audio for some reason, and I have no idea why. Um, and I was a little bit, uh, I was half lazy to fix them. I did try to fix some of the footage's audio problems, uh, but there was only so much that I, that I could have done. Uh, without the video getting, like, uh, very laggy. So that, that was pretty unfortunate that some of the footages ended up being decent when I was editing this. Uh, but here's Morty. And Morty starts off with Drift Limb. Uh, and it has Shadow Ball, Substitute, Thunderbolt, and Destiny Bond. It has the Unburned ability. Uh, I, which I don't know, really know what that is. Actually, you know what? I can probably I can probably look that up right now. See what the unburned ability is. It is an ability introduced in Generation Four. Um, it doubles the Pokemon's speed stat when the Pokemon's held item is lost. Okay. Uh, so I assume that if you use like knockoff or something, and then uh, which knocks the item out of your Pokemon, then your speed gets doubled. Okay, that's that that's pretty crazy. Okay. Um. What, what what else is there? Okay, so next up is Dusk is Dusknor, which is the evolved form of Dusclops. Um, and uh, this and the Dusknor has the pressure ability, which means that every move they use uh, takes up two power points instead of one. And this Dusknor has Substitute as well. And wow, this wow, this is becoming really annoying because it's because I'm using Night Slash in an attempt to get a crit on this Dusnor, uh, but it's just not letting me because it's it keeps using Substitute and it also keeps using uh, Pain Split, which like uh, reverses our HP stats, and it's super annoying. But we finally took out the Dusnor. Holy moly, that was that was insane. Okay. Uh, n next up he's, he has two Gengars. Um, I don't know which Gengar this one is. I'm gonna assume, because both of them are all over 57, they're both Ghost Poison type, they both have the Levitate ability. I'm gonna assume that that one that I just took out has Shadow Ball, Hypnosis, Focus Blast, and, Sh and Confused Ray. Um, and then he's gonna send out Sableye next. Sableye is a Dark Ghost type. Guess, which, guess, guess what that means? It has zero weaknesses at all. Uh, no matter what you do, the uh, Sableye cannot be hit by a super effective move. Well, I mean, it, well, I mean, it can, but it's only normal effective because of it's because of because of Dark Ghost type. Dark Ghost type is a very interesting uh, combination type, um, <laughs> for that matter. Um, okay, next up is Miss Magius, uh, which is uh, the I. I I guess that's the only. No, it, it was um. What is that? Other... What is the other Pokemon's name? Uh, Mischievous. Mischievous. 
Uh, Mr. Riz is the only new ghost type in Gen 2. And then I believe Miss Mag is a Gen 4 exclusive where like Miss uh, where like um uh God, what is that? What is that Pokémon's name again? I just said it. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? Oh, I I can't I I can't think of that right now. Um Mischievous. Okay. Okay. I knew it started out with an M. I just, just for some reason it just it just left me. Like, wow. All right. Um, should I, like, no, nah, I'll...